This is the brand new way of installing and running Kali Linux on M1 or M2 Mac. In this video, I am going to show you how to install Kali Linux on a virtual machine, M1 or M2 Mac using UTM. UTM is a powerful QEMU hypervisor and emulator, which allows you to run Kali Linux with OpenGL hardware acceleration inside a virtual machine, VM, on any Mac with Apple Silicon. This way, you don't have to dual boot a Mac to install Kali Linux. Instead, you can run the operating system inside Mac OS in an isolated environment. For demonstrating this video, I used MacBook Air with an M1 chip. Open your browser, go ahead and download the UTM app from their website, whose link given in the description. Search for Kali Linux on website, open your browser, go ahead and download the Kali Linux from their website, whose link given in the description. Then scroll a bit and choose Apple Silicon ARM 64. Choose the offline installer. I recommend using a torrent client will improve the speed of downloading the ISO. Once you are done downloading both of the software, then place them somewhere on your desktop for easier navigation. Then, double tap on the UTM DMG file and drag the icon to the Applications folder. Now open the UTM app. Create Kali Linux Virtual Machine. This is the user interface of the UTM app. Let's go ahead and start creating a new virtual machine for Kali Linux. For now, choose Virtualize, then select Linux. Now for this video, we're gonna use a QEMU hypervisor instead of Apple Ones, which is not stable and make sure you untick the first two options. Then import the Kali Linux image file. Then for the hardware, allocate four gigabytes of RAM and set the CPU cores to four. Now allocate the storage space for Kali Linux virtual machine. Make sure it's not less than 30 gigabytes. Now, under the shared directory, you can allow any Mac OS folder to be accessed inside a Kali via HTTP web server. Now, name the virtual machine and click on Save. That's it now. We are done creating a virtual machine for Kali Linux. Now start the virtual machine by clicking on the play button. You will see two windows. The one will be blinking forever. And the other window is what we need to install Kali Linux. Go ahead and choose the window that says Terminal 1 in the title bar. Now use the normal installation method and don't use a graphical install, which is currently not working with UTM. As you can see, it's booted into the installation screen of Kali Linux. Go ahead and set the system language. Use the arrow keys to scroll through and confirm the option by pressing the return key. Then select your location and set the keyboard language. Now leave Kali as the host name and press the return key. Create a user account and password. Then configure the clock.
Many people think this will format the Mac OS to install Kali, but it's not the case here. The free space that we allocated for Kali will be used to install and runs the Kali Linux in an isolated environment and has nothing to do with Mac OS. Lastly, you need to choose the desktop environment, scroll through the arrow keys, and then choose the desktop environment you fancy. Now choose Use the entire disk, then select the virtual disk, choose All in one partition, and finish partitioning the virtual drive. Then press the Tab key to highlight Continue, and press the Return key to confirm the changes. This will finish up installing Kali Linux. Wait for some time, sit back and relax. Once you see the screen, then, using the virtual machine navigation bar, shut down the VM, unmount ISO, then go ahead and close this window. Now head over to the main interface. Now click on the play button to run the virtual machine. This time it will boot into the Kali Linux desktop. Wait for 10 seconds to see the login screen of Kali Linux. Now log in with your password. Voila, now you can see Kali Linux 2022 W slash XFCE desktop running inside a virtual machine on M1, Mac with Apple Silicon. Just look at the speed of Kali. You can see the clipboard sharing is working between Mac OS and Kali Linux. That's pretty much this is how you properly install Kali Linux on any Mac with Apple Silicon. Let me know what you think about it in the comments section down below. Thanks for watching. If you people faces any problem, ask me there in comment box or on Instagram, link in description. Goodbye.